What is up guys, it's SX Modern Warfare here, GamerTab Banjo Chicken, and welcome back to another episode of JTAG Tutorials. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Call of Duty Advanced Warfare onto your JTAG or RGH console. I'm going to try and speed through this as quickly as possible because this is pretty much the same as episode 19 which showed you how to install GTA. It's the same multi-disc configuration that it uses. So I'm just going to try and go through this one a bit quicker rather than just repeat everything I said about you know, in episode 19, because it's exactly the same, but people have been requesting me to do a tutorial on Advanced Warfare, so let's get straight into it. Uh, first of all, we want to download the game, so we can go ahead, go on xbox360iso.com. I think the game was leaked on the 29th uh, in the, I don't know, for America it would have probably been the 29th. Um, so anyway, here we go, you can download them here. Um, from xbox360iso.com if they don't want to charge you their premium links or you can go ahead and try the Pirate Bay um, or some other torrent site and get it downloaded uh, once you have it downloaded it will be somewhere in your downloads somewhere in your downloads folder you'll have your WinRAR two, you should have two WinRAR parts one for disk 1, one for disk 2 or you may have it in like a, a different like part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 uh, if you have the parts, then you just right-click part one and extract, and it'll start extracting them all. If you have like just two right here for disk one and disk two, then just right-click, extract, right-click, extract. Um, so if you open it, you can see you've got the ISO in there. Um, if you go to properties and it says it's not a .rar, it says it's a .iso, it's just built to open in uh, WinRAR, then please don't extract it uh, if it says it's a .rar. ISO, but if it's a .rar, extract it and you'll get the .isos out of there. Alright, so once you have it, you go ahead, you open up Xbox Image Browser, which will be in the description. Uh, it's the same one that's built into Xbox Backup Creator, it's just it's standalone. So you just go ahead, file open, open the first disk. Um, yep, here we go. So this is the content one, this is the HD content. So with the HD content disk, all you have to do is right click and extract the content folder. You don't need anything else out of that disk. So I'm just going to extract it to the desktop. And I'll go ahead and start extracting and I'll resume once it has finished. Okay, so we're almost done here. So as I was saying, I think the game was leaked on the 29th for America and it would have been, would have been the 30th for UK. Um, something like two in the morning or something like that I can't remember but uh, yeah it's, it's been leaked for quite a few days uh, so yeah I mean I'm surprised it's been leaked so late I thought it would have been leaked you know quite a bit earlier than just four or five days before release but oh well uh, okay so that's it the content has extracted now we can open it up just make sure that it's in there so yeah we've got two files in here so all we really want is this folder here, 415609.14, inside the folder with all the zeros. Uh, so we want to copy this over to your console, so I'm going to use FileZilla, you can use Xbox 360 Neighborhood, you can copy it over using a USB, but um, FileZilla is faster than Neighborhood and I can't be bothered taking the time to transfer it over a USB, so I'm just going to use FileZilla. So on your Xbox hard drive you want to go to your HDD1, you want to go to your content folder, and then you want to go into the folder with all the zeros that corresponds to this, uh, not this, uh, do -do -do -do, corresponds to this, uh, content 0000, content 0000, and you just want to put the 415-609-14 in this folder, so we can just copy it straight over. Um, I already have it installed, um, I've already got Advanced Warfare installed, which is why it was asking me to overwrite, but normally it would just go ahead and do that, so you just wait until it has completed, and I'll be back with you once again once it's completed. In fact, while it's transferring, um, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do the next disk now. So we'll go ahead and open uh, disk B, which is the play disk that we're actually going to be playing the game from. You, um, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder on either your desktop or your external hard drive. I highly recommend if you have an external hard drive, you just extract it to the external hard drive. Because that way, if you're extracting it to the external hard drive, then... You can just unplug your external hard drive once it's finished, plug it into your JTAG and run it off the external. Um, if you don't have an external hard drive or a big enough USB for 8 gigabytes, then you're going to have to extract it to your computer's hard drive somewhere like the desktop and then transfer it over using FTP or um, Neighborhood, which is going to take a long time. 
Um, but if you have an external hard drive, it will speed things up uh, quite a bit. So um, we've got the play disk open. So you're just going to right click on the the dot ISO right at the top and click extract. Um, we're going to extract it to this location. Um, so I'm going to browse for the location. So it's on computer J Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 2 because that's where my Advanced Warfare is my normal one that I've already installed. So Advanced Warfare 2 and extract and you can see it's extracting into my external hard drive and once again we'll just leave this and once it's extracted uh, we can transfer it over to the JTAG and we're also waiting for the content to transfer over to the JTAG as well. So I'll be back with you guys once they have completed their transfer. Alright so here we go it's pretty much done now we've done extracting and we are just about done Yep, there we go, we're done with the content, the HD contents installed to the content folder. Remember, if you don't have an Xbox hard drive, uh, then it will be on whichever device you're using as an Xbox 360 hard drive alternative, like a configured USB or something. Um, so it would be in there and then content and then the zero folder. Alright, so um, extracted Advanced Warfare, the play disc as well. Um, unfortunately though, I'm just going to delete that one because there's no point in me having it as I've already got it installed here. Um, but once you have the play disk installed to an external hard drive or transferred over to your your Xbox hard drive and you have the install disk uh, installed to the uh, to the Xbox hard drive and content folder then we are good to go I'm just going to transfer my mm -hmm. external hard drive over to my Xbox now and I will be back with you guys on the Xbox to show you how to get it working Alright, here we go guys, we're on XCX menu, so we'll just go ahead, head over to your external hard drive, wherever you installed Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, here it is, and then you would just start the default XCX to launch it. So if you were wanting to play it online over Xbox Live, if you have stealth, then you would just launch it within Xbox 360 neighborhood, so locate this folder, run the default mp.xcx or the default xcx to run the game and you can play it online, it will ask you to do the title update. If you've not got stealth time or you just don't do that, you want to play over Link or you just want to launch it within Freestyle Dash, then we can go ahead and add it as a path to Freestyle Dash, which I'll do for you now. So you open up uh, Freestyle, uh, run Freestyle Dash. Um, we're just going to add it as a game path and hopefully it will have the title updates in the Freestyle Dash servers database we hope and we'll be able to actually uh, download it automatically without manually doing the title update um, but of course if you're obviously using um, hold on yeah go to settings first go to settings go to content settings and then manage game paths add a game path uh, you want to head to select Xbox 360 uh, scan depth on 3, change path and locate the game, so 1, 2 and 3, are we in? It's taking a while to load, but as I was saying, yeah, you need to, um, if you're playing on Xbox Live, you just run the game and it will prompt you to do the title update, there will be no need to, um, to do anything uh, besides that. Alright, here we go, we're in now. That took ages by the way, it looks like your console freezes when it does that, but it's not, it's just taking ages to load. Uh, press Y once you're in the directory, um, and then press X to save, and now we'll back out, and you can see it's downloading a cover down the bottom, 353 kilobytes per second, 700 kilobytes per second, um, so, they are, so there, it's probably downloaded the cover right there, so we just go into my Xbox 360 games, and it should show up in here some, yeah, there we go, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So for the title update, we press Y, we go to Manage Title Updates, and there, Title Update 1. Ah, so it already sets it for you, that must be a new thing they've added, I guess. So there we go. Um, but if you don't have the title update, you press Y to download Title Update. And if you want to disable a title update, you just press A on it till it goes grey. And that means it's not using the title update. Press A on it again. It is using the title update. And then you just go ahead and run the game. Unfortunately, because I'm making this tutorial and it will be uploaded before the official release date of Advanced Warfare, which is the 4th of November, this will be going up on the 31st of October. So um, I cannot show you any gameplay or my channel will probably get a strike or something like that on it by Activision. So because of that, I am not allowed to actually run it and show you any gameplay but that is how you install it all you would do to play it is just hit the a button to play game and it will start playing 
and of course if you're on xbox live just do it through neighborhoods so that's it guys thank you for watching go ahead subscribe if you haven't subscribed already like the video if you liked it comment if you have any questions and i will see you guys next time yeah, yeah.